On this episode of Sled's Garage, I got me a Chrysler that seats about 20. This is a 1972 Chrysler New Yorker. I purchased this car from an online auction. Had a buddy of mine go pick it up. Um, pretty much sight unseen. There were photographs of it on the, on the site, but if you've ever purchased a car online before, what you get in real life and what you see in the photographs, they usually don't match. Um, she's filthy, inside and out. Just about every crevice of the car is packed with walnuts. And I haven't attempted to start the car or turn the engine over specifically for that reason. And you'll see that in a sec. Pretty solid car. It has floors, which is awesome. Um, looks like here on the side, somebody tried to harpoon this whale, but I think we can get that out. But yeah, for today, it's raining, it's cold, I'm cranky. Let's just uh, open up the doors, open up the trunk, open up the hood, take a look around, and see if we made a mistake or not. I'm pretty sure I did. Just look at that. I mean, we'll get the power washer out, see how much, how much of this will actually come off. There's a part of me that's thinking right now that at some point in either 1972, early in the year, or later in 1971, there was a guy in a plaid suit sitting at a desk selling somebody this color combination. Just look at that. I mean, if the interior of this car doesn't remind you of having to change your own diaper, I don't know what does. It does have the appearance of power windows. Um, it is a factory 440 car. 727 transmission. I think I can get that out. Uh, this is uh, eight and a three quarter rear end. 15 inch tires. Disc brakes in the front. Um, let's see what we got in here. And like I said, I, I've, I've already, in the interest of full disclosure, I've already kind of looked through this thing and, well, now it's your turn. Walnuts. They're everywhere. Oh, oh, hold on. You guessed it. There she is. Okay, so we're gonna clean that out. Let's, uh, good God. Ah, dual exhaust. Um, let's get a look at the dashboard real quick. You know, truth be told, it does need a carpet. And there's more nuts. Truth be told, the interior, uh, the color aside, it, it's, it's in good shape. The seats aren't really ripped. Uh, there's one little hole there. Armrest. Sweet. Um, dashboard's not cracked. I don't know if you can see that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the car of your dreams. Or your nightmares. Uh, odometer shows, I don't know if you can see that either. It's kind of dark today. Um, 57.57. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, 57,571. And, uh... I don't know if you've seen any, anybody else do it, but a telltale sign. I don't think it's 157. So let's see here. Open up the hood.
And like I said, I haven't made any attempt to turn over the engine or even put power in this thing yet because, well, let's see, I'll show you why. Yep, you guessed it, more nuts. Big ones. Factory air conditioner. It is a 440, I think I said that already. Power brakes, power disc brakes. I obviously said that too. But just look, every nook and cranny. I'll get in here and look, look. More nuts. Down there. So yeah, let's get this thing cleaned up. And we'll go from there. Oh. I think I might actually have to take the fender off this car. Oh my god. Something's gonna bite me. I'm gonna get Fender 19. Good enough.